What, in the year 2525? He gave a photograph from 1995. <laughs> from here? No, from, no, from Lachsmann. From Lachsmann Not from Lucknow. That's from Lucknow. 95. You? 95. <laughs> was attracting so many girls. <laughs> My morning shower. At least it's heavy wood. The water is, at least the water has some spirit. I come closer. Just water. Ooh, it's like a. It's really hard because it's been shaken up on the bike. What, like an enlightened mind or. <laughs> Sparkling. <coughs> Sparkling mind. A oh, nice view from here. And some nuts. Said a cyclone coming, yeah, but going by. Oh, yeah. No, last night it was meant at midnight, but heavy rain, but nothing happened. Yeah. It'll be a relief when it does. Huh? It'll be a relief if it does. Yeah, I don't think so. People come and breathe. And then they blame it on the mountain again, because all the mountain is so heavy. <laughs> Sometimes it's just the weather. That some smell comes around yeah. here, like fence like this, something. Gas. Yes. From, from the septic tank. Oh. <laughs> from the subconsciousness. <laughs> you have to put the water. subconsciousness <laughs> smells. <laughs> it needs more. Yeah. No, it, it, it needs smell. It, it needs more oh, gas to. It needs more gas to flash. More gas in here. More gas. Gas. More gas. More gas. More gas. Yeah. More gas. More gas. Hundred one shot. Huh? Hundred one shot. You won. Wow. Two peanuts. Good morning, morning. Time. If you don't start, you have to make longer. All good? You. You have your friend next to you. She's not coming. She's not coming. So there's one please. She's not coming. Holland, if you want to get closer, there's, she's not coming today. Barbara has to go to Aham. 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 Now we have to move a bit. So, who wants to start? I'm not ready yet. Mm -hmm. I'll start. Never ready. Okay. okay great. The other day, when I left the satsang here, in the afternoon, uh, I found the satsang very quiet and very, and it was really um, like the yes, pretty well 100% of the time. And then when I went home, it was a very emotional time for me that afternoon. 
Mm -hmm. started over here, I saw it. You started here, yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Very emotional. Very emotional, yeah. Oh, the old, it's got the, the ocean of emotion. Ocean of emotion. Oh. <laughs> so what happened? So there were a lot of emotions, anger, weeping, sadness, all these different emotions that were coming. Sounds good. It was good, yeah. And, and I remembered what you said. I heard, just look, you can't do anything about it. You, there's nothing you can do. You can't get away from it. So I heard that, but yet there was still this subtle motivation in the mind. They're not so much, well, if I stay with it, it will go away. Yeah, yeah. That type it's of thing. It's the last trick you try. Yeah, if so. I, if I just accept it, it will be gone. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So some people say, oh, well, that's good, because at least you saw that that was happening. Uh -huh. You're aware of that. And, I, and I've always been a little uh, uh, ambiguous about that statement. Felt, oh, you're, at least you're aware of it, but it's still there. Yeah, it's like a, you, it seems like an advantage. It does seem like an advantage, but I don't know if it is. No, it's an advantage. Yeah. But the question is always for whom? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and the answer is always me. Yes, always so, me. So the me makes a story of emotions and all that thing. And watching it and even becoming witness sometimes and yeah. accepting it or not. It's like a big history. So it's called a his, his story. But you have to see it's his story, not your story. What you are has no story. Yeah. So it's his story. So it's the story of me, the story of God even. This me God, this whatever. A his, it is his story. That's why it's called his story. It's not my story. Otherwise you call it, would call it my story. No, what you are, your nature has no story. See, that's making me emotional again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, but there's nothing wrong with your emotions. Nothing wrong. All right. They're just like, like the wind yeah. coming and going. No, but this is like what I, this is like the discrimination of what has a story. It's his story. It's the story of consciousness. The story of whatever. It's his story. God who knows himself and it's his story. But your nature, your, what you are, has no story. Yeah. So yes, there's a story and it's all his story. But it's not your story. There's no ownership in it. That's the main thing. That's so in the dream there is his story because there's one who owns his story, has a story, who has, is counting his whatever. It's a counter. But the question is who counts the counter? Who or what is experiencing the counter? And I would say only that counts to me. That counter you can count already is what? Mm -hmm. An egg counter who makes a book, keeps a book, bookkeeper of my life and whatever all of this. But let him be generous. You can, you are anyway in spite of this whatever bookkeeper. Yeah. And be in spite, that's all. Be as you are and not. You will always write a book, a story of. My events, my life, I did it my way and now I'm all aware and then I'm not less aware. And even then, the book, today I feel like emptiness and emptiness was embracing me and all that stories of whatever thing. Oh, and yesterday I was so much nothing. <laughs> Fantastic. And your nature is being generosity itself because really this carelessness of what you are. There's nothing in for you. It doesn't make you more if you, or less, whatever this, whatever he is doing or not doing, or believing or not believing. It will always be different. It will always be like a story. Because there's one who keeps books or stores things. It's a functioning of story, something. So it starts with three years old and then you store your events of my life. Then you have a soul where all the pearls of events and moments are hanging on, and it gets more and more heavy because the events are hanging around your neck, and that's why people age. There's all the story hanging around the neck and on the shoulders, and, oh, oh, and the fear goes bigger because, oh God, the end is near. <laughs> then they go to the church again and say, oh God. <laughs> I didn't mean to be like I am. <laughs> <laughs> what can I do? 
I give myself to you with all them. So only under pressure they do things, huh? Yeah. When it's simple, if, if you thought, oh, today I've been loving the world and I'm full of energy and singing, and we give a fuck about God or anything. <laughs> only when they need some guy who make business, please help me now. And I always surrender everything, but please help me. <laughs> so the business guy never stops. Always busy. But it's not your business. You never open to business with yourself. You have no business. So you have nothing to gain here in anything. And nothing to lose with that thing. So this, if it happens like this, mind drops. Because by being what you are, there is no mind. There's no ownership at all. So then you don't even know what you are. And even the idea of heart drops with it. The idea of self, the idea of God, all these ideas a merely imaginary what, business with one who is an imaginary businessman. He became one out of fear, so what to do? Existential fear is the basis of all bookkeeping and trying to control. From the beginning, God knowing himself, God fears himself. He even fears himself. How stupid can it get? Look what happened. Shit happened. So, what else? Not yet. Later. But even now it's too late. Huh? Later, it's too late too. <laughs> it's too late. Okay, someone else says something to share. <laughs> Sharing people. <clears throat> I like chef, sh shared, chef people. Lazy people who have no hair anymore. Yesterday, yeah. you said uh, the mountain is uh, the universe. Is what? The universe. Or no, it's not the universe. I said this is the origin of. Original. The origin. The origin, the quelle, okay. the origin of whatever you can imagine. The light of Shiva, the origin of everything. That's the mountain. So how the can absolute the creator. Be that? What? How can the mountain be that? No, not. You believe it or not, I don't care actually. <laughs> the good thing about what I say, I don't have to prove what I say because I don't, I don't believe myself in it. Well, scientists have just disproved the origin of the universe. Yeah. Be serious. The scientists are always right. The moment they say something. No, they say the universe didn't have a beginning. Yeah, no yeah. beginning. No beginning. Yeah, but it is the light of Shiva. Yeah. No beginning, no end, and it yeah. shows itself as everything. So now science science agrees. Science agrees. agrees. Science now agrees. There's no big bang. There's no big big bang. bang. I always thought some big bang is a bullshit. It's like a bang bang. <laughs> Thank you, man. Bang bang. Thank you, man. You see, she wants now to prove. She doesn't know why. And now she's interested because she, she wants to know why she is here. And then she wants to blame the mountain. Yes, why not? Everyone is doing it. You are not alone in that. <laughs> Everyone is taking this mountain as a big excuse. If, if our natural wants me to do it, I they do it. No, I did it because our natural practice. wanted me to do it. Like a permanent excuse. So what is it? So why not take it? Excuse yourself. If you feel better. <coughs> No, I just ex explained my experience with this mountain, that's all. I didn't say it's true. <laughs> people, always people think when I say something, I think I, I mean it's true or something. I don't know. I have no idea. I just like a verbal diarrhea. There's <laughs> nothing else. Just for entertainment. 
I could say the, 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 <laughs> the end on there, the end is not there, it's the origin of the universe. It would be the same. And then would ask, why this end? Why not me? <laughs> never ends. <laughs> you can point to everything. What is not the mountain? What is not the light of Shiva? Show me something. But if I say the mountain, it's as much as a mountain as that mountain or whatever. The mountain, the point of the mountain is permanent, the mountain <laughs> doesn't know to be a mountain. That's, his, that's why the nature of the mountain is your natural state, because be as a mountain, because the mountain doesn't know to be a mountain. And doesn't need to know, not, doesn't need to know to be a mountain, to be a mountain. So be that. So what? So the light of Shiva doesn't know any light. But the light you can experience as the light of Shiva is for sure not the light of Shiva. So, what to do? But you can claim, oh, I saw the light of Shiva. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? If you want to sit somewhere and take yourself as awakened and tell people, I saw the light. Like a pre pre preacher in America, I saw the light. And now I share this, whatever. Yeah, but the main thing I said yesterday was even to that light you can experience as the light of our natural, as the origin of everything, is merely an imagination. So the nature of light can never be experienced. So Shiva, the nature of light, is not an experience and will never experience itself as light. Light does no light. The sun does no any sun. And the sunshine is not the sun. That was I pointing to, and not like something is the origin of something. So, what else? Do you have something? You are you're okay? You are just listening, yeah, it's the best. If I could just do that, I would be fine too. <laughs> but I have to pronounce it before I can listen, because I cannot find one who pronounces it. I'm as much a listener here than everyone. Oh, yeah. That's why I do this all these meetings because I want to listen to what I say. <laughs> <laughs> Believe it or not, I enjoy it. Because when I'm alone, I watch television. Because nothing can actually point to the self. Huh? Nobody can point to the self. No, the, 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 it's only pointers that, that what is the self can never be pointed to. The self is everywhere. There's nowhere. I mean, not it's, in terms of it's, entity. It's neither somewhere or nowhere. Both is wrong. If it would be nowhere, it would be different from somewhere. No, it's never different. It's neither somewhere or nowhere. Both is imagined. You are now. Huh? You are now. Even here now is an imaginary here now. Show me what is here now. It's always what you experience. It's, an, it's too late. There is no here and now you can experience. Can you experience it here and now? Or it's already, you just close your eyes. Then it's like an emptiness you, uh, of here yeah, and now. I mean. but, but that is not here and now. Words, even, words. Even, even the emptiness you experience is too late. It's a story. It's already uh, in time. When you are in this body, there is some kind of experience. Yes, that's what I mean. Even the emptiness. When there is no body, there will be no experience. Even the emptiness is an experience, but the experience you of. You rightly mentioned. In yeah, yeah, but uh, listen. Even the but the experience of emptiness can never be experienced. So even the experience. Yeah, that's of a, that is a non-experiential state yeah, because but, there is no body there. There is not even an emptiness. There is not even no there's body. Nothing. But even no body is one body too many. <laughs> can you repeat that? <laughs> <laughs> Even nobody is one body too many. There is no Zen. When there's, this body is gone and Zen, I have an experience of what I am. No, there will never be an experience of that's, what you that's are. Exactly, I mean, I'm so so to say, even yeah. nobody is one body too many. You have to be in spite of the presence of somebody or nobody what you are. Because it will never be show itself. Your nature sh never shows itself as any, anything, neither as form or non-form. Neither is something or nothing. Both is imaginary. So both is, is the two sides of Shiva. The trinity of Shiva is the presence and the absence. And that what is Shiva. 
but you cannot find Shiva in the presence or in the absence. You are Shiva, who can never be found in his presence or absence. He was never lost. So you cannot not experience yourself. You experience yourself as presence and as absence. So even as somebody you experience yourself. You cannot not experience yourself. You cannot not realize yourself. You realize yourself as a personal and an impersonal, as a little one and a big one, as a little consciousness and the cosmic consciousness. Both is what you are, as the realization of what you are, but it's not what you are. You are not different to it, but it's not what you are. So what to do? <laughs> that would be the best, but it's hard. For me it's too hard. I just talk. To be quiet is too much effort for me. <laughs> I'm too lazy to be quiet. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually, actually too lazy to be lazy. So people always say you say you're lazy, but I always tell I see you sitting somewhere and talking to some. This is not laziness, I said. It would be much more effort to sit at home and don't say anything. Brazil, all good? Oh, maybe. Huh? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Brazil, maybe. Good is too bad. <clears throat> That's all. Yeah, something else. <clears throat> yes. Oh, one. Uh, just to share, one evening in the ashram, one man was walking around the Samadhi wearing a t-shirt with a printing His story is history. My story is mystery. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds good. <laughs> it sounds good. <laughs> If you if you if you if you feel into it, it feels a bit arrogant. We obviously didn't speak English. But it sounds good. It sounds good. But whatever sounds good. But we're in German, that one. So it's much more authentic. This out here is the same. <laughs> Yeah, out of me story comes mystery. It's always missing anyway. It's a missed story. You miss yourself in story and in no story. Even the mystery is you missing yourself in a mystery. But it sounds good to say, I'm my, I am, myself is a mystery to me. Or whatever. Sounds good, but it's still one to many who, who, whose self is a mystery to him. Yes, it's very tricky. You, you always, oh yes, that is something. You always try to agree or something, but this one who agrees thought. We better don't know what you are and what you are at all. And so it's neither mystery or not mystery, it's just the most natural state, which is what you are, the absolute not knowing of what you are and what you're not. For that you don't have to make any comment of anything. The rest is fiction anyway. You are if you like it or not. So Yeah, any uh, mobile to, to yeah. kill? <laughs> yes? Uh, uh, you are, uh, if you like it or not, it's not so, if you like it or not, if I like the expression of what, or, or not. Whatever. You don't have to like it. It's only about No, we are, we, are, we are talking about Ananda, we are talking about the happiness of your true na your nature. Because that what is the joy itself doesn't have to enjoy itself. So you are enjoying or not enjoying, you, that what is joy. That I'm pointing to and not like, like it or not, you, you are what you are. So you don't have to like yourself to be yourself. That I'm pointing to. Not about, uh, I have to start loving myself and then I'll be more myself. Bullshit. Because this is like esoteric tralala. And then you believe it, when I love myself more, then I'm more myself. And then I will be happy. 
You don't even have to love yourself. I love that I don't have to know myself. I don't have to love myself, thanks God. Because I'm in this presence, I'm in an un unconditional hate for myself. Unconditional hate is when I'm present. And unconditional love is when I'm absent. But this, uh, this is uh, the two sides I realize myself with. Everyone who sits here hates to exist. Otherwise he would not sit here. Why do you come to the mountain? Why do you seek a way out if you would love everything? If there really would be love for existence, if there really would be some truth in this love for existence, why is everyone seeking a way out of it? There's an unconditional hate in the presence of self. The moment of self is present, there's an unconditional hate. And then you say, okay, the me tries to get rid of the me because the me knows without the me, the me would be better off. You're an off me, then you think a no me is better than a me. Then you make a no me better. Then you're Naomi. <laughs> so, and I say, you cannot escape it. You have to experience yourself in this unconditional hate because it comes from unconditional being. That what you are, this unconditional presence of unconditional dislike, discomfort. And you hate it the moment you exist. God hates himself the moment he has to exist because he doubts himself. So what? What's the problem? Unconditional hate. And then in the absence, in every deep, deep sleep at night, everyone loves it because it is not there. Never everyone complains about it. So absence is heaven and this is hell. Hallelujah. <laughs> so what? I just... But your absolute nature doesn't get more or less by loving or hating. Both sides are there. So what? But trying to bring love into this hate, you are absolutely exhausted every night. <sighs> trying to love yourself, just... Hate yourself and be happy. <laughs> you see, there, there is some smile, there is joy in hate. Suddenly there is joy in hate. <laughs> how, how much do I hate myself today? <laughs> if it's unconditional hate, it's fine. If there is no way out of it. <laughs> Loathing is a bit stronger. Loathing is stronger than loathing. I don't know loathing. Loathing is overachieving. Loathing is overachieving. Loathing is Loathing 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 is Loathing is Loathing 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 Loathing, despising, fear and loathing, fear and loathing, fear and being loaded. <laughs> I like, I like the opposition of rejection. Fear and loathing, like a smoking. <laughs> so <laughs> smoking some weed or <laughs> no, I, 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 like like LA, leaving LA or something. Fear and load. It's only in English. German hasn't got a word. Hate is it. ten mile. For what? Why not a word for what? Loathing. I can't believe German. Yeah, what does it mean? Extreme hate. Yeah, why not? It's rage, rage, and whatever. Extreme as like you hate yourself as you, you kill yourself. You you realize yourself by absolute hate. <laughs> No, you, you just drop this idea of self because you hate it to death. Some try to love it to death, but they, they, they didn't succeed, so I, I advise hate it to death. <laughs> yeah, in absolute hate, there is no one, who, the hater and the hated is gone. As in absolute love, but you try now to, the impossible, you will never love yourself in this present. The moment there is presence, there is separation, and you want to make it one. But you can never make it. And then you will work very hard to ask for oneness, and then you get it for one second, and then you're even more hating that what is not this separation thing. 
<laughs> you hate it anyway.